Hi guys, Patho Gaming right here right now bringing you a coaching session with Corey who's hovering around Master and this is uh, from a game on Diamond 3, right? Yep. Yeah, welcome Corey, welcome. So yeah, play play the video. Let's see let's see what happens. Okay. So. And just talk me through it. What are you getting and why? Okay, oh, and so, please mute it. Okay. Please mute the video because there's some sound. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Yep. So, wait, what did we get? I wasn't paying attention. What did we get and why? Yeah, just just go go, go, go uh, back. You can just, just go back. So, uh, like, what do, you, what do you usually go for and why? Uh, so, on my main account, I've been going for bows because that has been very effective for me lately. Uh, so, on this one, I've been experimenting a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I do and why I do it. I go for for chain first, because Sunfire okay. Cape Sunfire Cape is super strong, Bramble super strong, and because it's more important to have front line than back line. Okay. So I, okay. So okay. I, I'd rather have a front line item than a back line item, and I'd rather have a front line chosen than a back line chosen. So that's just okay. my preference and it's been working really well. And if, if not chain, then sword. Sword for, for like death blade and all of the other fun stuff you mentioned. And possibly tier. But I mean, it's like after, after chain and sword, it's whatever. But I really think, I really think like right now, if you got the chain, you'd have a Bramble Vest, which is amazing. Because mm -hmm. QSS is something you don't want early. It doesn't do anything early. Yeah, I know. I do end up building it early with games. I have nothing else. So that's... Um, it's definitely pick up something better than the than the Nami there. You could have gotten Elise or something last round. Okay. And right now, what should we be playing right now? Why is uh, putting in the Tom Kench bad? What uh, unit, what unit should be in there right now? Garrett for Warlords. Yep, just to get a Warlord yeah. stack. Okay, um, so here I would suggest selling to pre-level. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, we got to go back. We got to go back. Please go back. There was way too much stuff yeah. happening there. Sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you paused it perfectly. Okay. Um, huh. So you're picking up the Aphelios pair. That's actually not Silas, terrible. Silas, Silas pair and Aphelios, yeah. Uh, huh, huh, huh. I'm thinking... If you had the Garen in there, yeah, I guess I guess it's better than pre-leveling. I'm thinking if you can pre-level, but you want to buy the, yeah, actually the Silas Pair is not terrible. Um, I would have preferred if you had the Garen in there, you could have sold Garen and Nami and bought Aphelios. You could have sold uh, Tom Kench and Nami and bought Aphelios, but then you want the Tom Kench for Brawler. So that's that, that's actually not too bad. It's not too bad, but I mean, I'd rather keep the like. Uh, right now, your strongest board would be if you sell the Hecarim, Tom, Kench, and Nami, uh, level up, like pre-level, and then you have two Vanguard, two Sharpshooter, and two Dusk. That's like the strongest board you can have right now without actually hitting anything. And I really like pre-leveling if you don't have a Chosen. You know, you, do you know the Chosen, like, how the Chosen mechanic works? Yeah, so if you're level if you're level four, you're you can get a two cost chosen. So Right. Okay. So yeah, I almost almost never pre level on this round, but you're saying if you haven't hit yet, you're gonna pre level here most of the time. Okay, um like you have nothing. You you, you really have nothing. So like by pre leveling you can get a chosen and some direction. Like you don't have any direction right now. You have you have no two stars, you have like no direction. Um, I, I do see the, the Aphelios and the Silas, like it's not terrible, but as I mentioned, Vanguard, Dusk, Sharpshooter is stronger for now. Uh, you don't have to pre-level, but I would definitely, yeah, okay, you, you, keep the, you keep the Thresh, right? You sell the 
sell the hacker room and buy no you sell the thresh as well I sell, ha I sell hacker room and thresh to buy Ophelios and Flash. okay okay so let's, let's see how that plays out let's see how that plays out if you if you ever do hit the two-star silas because that's one of the things if you don't hit it yeah there you go so there's another thresh and the garen Oh, we got Moonlights. All right, all right. That's actually kind of cool. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Okay, positioning-wise, this is atrocious. I hope you see that. Okay, so I don't. So what's wrong with positioning here? Okay, how do you want the fight to play out? Why Silas and Tom to grab aggro? How do okay? How does Silas Silas ulti work? By the way. So it makes them uh, increases the mana cost for their spell. Yeah, but how does it work? What does it do? Like, how does he ulti? What are, like what is the ultimate? It's like his chains from League. Yes, but like how how does the ultimate like? Function, how does it hit? Like, who does it hit? Uh, the person he's attacking and people behind him, I believe. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Yes. So think about it. How can you make sure that his chains hit more than one unit? Make sure they're clumped around him. No, they, you don't want them clumped around him. You want them to clump around Tom Kench, and then you want him to walk up and chain multiple units. Gotcha. Does that, does that make sense? So, like, if there's units in front of Tom Kench and in front of Silas, they're just going to attack them, right? Mm -hmm. If you put the Silas back, you can get lucky, and units can surround Tom Kench. Silas will walk up, and Silas will hit two units. Also, uh... Like, who is more important, Silas or Tom Kench? Silas. So, you don't want Silas dying, right? Like, Tom Kench is... Tom Kench's only ability is to, is to like, be a tank. But Silas, you don't want Silas taking damage. Like, you want Tom Kench to die first, and then Silas to, to die second. Right? So, you don't want them to split aggro, because if there's more units on the right, they can kill your Silas, which you don't want to happen. You want Tom Kench to die first. Another thing, uh, I don't know if you commit the armor or not, so you have to play it to see if you commit the armor. But the armor should not be committed here because what do you want a two star, by the way? Ophelios, yeah, I didn't know that it treated a completed item and a half item the same. It does, uh, okay. Yeah, it does, which I found out when a two star is Silas in this fight. I didn't realize that. Um, Ophelios would level up. Two starring Silas is actually better than Ophelios because Ophelios. Does not have Hunter, while Silas is probably stronger than Aphelios. Okay. It's close. Uh, yeah, and by the way, you slammed uh, QSS, which I mean you had to slam. But QSS is absolutely useless, stage 2, and kind of useless, stage 3. Yeah. So QSS is like a late game item. So right. that means you're just going to be weaker in the early game. Yeah. Yeah. You don't make Shroud. QSS is probably the thing you make, but when should you make it? Uh, if, There's like a specific sure. condition for you to, to slam a QSS or slam any item. I think I'm going to win streak. Um, uh, yeah, kind of, but more importantly. No, anything sure. come to mind? Uh, chosen. So once you see your chosen, you can decide like, it, does QSS do anything, or uh, maybe do I want Ionic Spark on the chosen or something like, or maybe you want to put your QSS on the chosen, right, as well. Right, so like, right. yeah. So typically, if you don't have a chosen, um, you're probably not gonna win. Like you level up, so you might win, but like this board is relatively weak. Like yes, you have Moonlight, so they're gonna be two star. But it's relatively weak, so 
Uh, a lot, I mean, this is not from my head. This is like what I what I watch like high level players do is they wait until they see their chosen. They wait for their chosen, and then based on that, they decide on the items. Okay. Unless unless they have at least a two star unit. Like if they have a two star unit, then a two star unit that can use the items, fine. But if you don't have any, like right now, you have absolutely no direction. So like based on the chosen, like you should wait for the chosen to give you direction. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So All right. Would you, so, so I should have had Silas. Would you put Silas in the second row here then? I put him all the way in the back. I put him all the way in the back so okay. a, enough stuff has time to walk up and actually aggro on Tom Kench. Okay. And also, the also assassins, right? So he'll, like, if there are any assassins, they'll start attacking Silas. Right. Okay. And then, so I'm switching him in the back. Don't make the QSS. Now, you said not to commit the chain vest, but if Silas is the one that we want to upgrade, because I'm putting nothing on. Abelio, so yeah, Silas. exactly. Okay. Uh, another thing, okay. wait, do we want Chainless on Silas? Yes, I guess we do. I guess in most cases we do, even if we're playing Aphelios comp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. But by two star in the, the Silas, I think you're gonna, you might win because Silas two star is actually pretty good. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so imagine, imagine that Silas is in the back, right? So Zen will be attacking Silas. This way, he said it's yeah. gonna kill your kill your Lissandra and then kill your kill your Aphelios. Yeah. Oh, okay. That worked out. Yeah, it's a little lucky. But I still think. Oh, you're not watching your board, okay? Yeah, I'm not sure. Why. I think that I win this fight. No, I do not. Never mind. You don't. Yeah. Because you don't have a chosen. That's that's like the only reason. Because he he has a chosen, so. Okay, it's not the best. We take it, good. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so positioning is going to continue to be off here. Because, so I mean, thing. like uh, right now, the positioning is even worse because you already have a two star Tom Kench, right? You should definitely pick up the Diana. I hope you're planning to pick it up. I don't think I do. Because who's better, Diana or Lissandra? Uh, I guess I guess Diana. Yeah. It's kind of a trick question. It depends. Uh, but whoever you two star is better. That, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd say Nunu is less important because you can find a Nunu or a Vi, but yeah. Yeah, or a Maokai. Or a Maokai. While Diana is just Diana, right? So yeah. you don't need Nunu specifically, but you do need Diana specifically. Makes sense. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it's probably more likely to be Lissandra. Okay, so you have the damage damage tab, right? Um, who does the who does more damage, Silas two or, or Aphelios two or one? Like the thing is, like Silas two probably does more than Aphelios one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just thinking, like um, you need to think about it. Like, how do you win the fight? So you like you need to ask yourself, how do you win the fight? So, yeah, answer that. Like, how do you... Uh, I mean, I guess if, like, Tanky Nunu eats one or two things and uh, the Felios finishes another couple off. So, it's like, you win the fight. I think these early fights, Brawlers are better because they eat so much damage that you can, even with little damage, you win the fight. 
while uh, having having uh, how much is it anyway? It's I think it's eight four hundred extra HP, right? If I'm not yeah, mistaken. It goes from four, it goes from four hundred to eight hundred, I believe, extra. So it's like twelve hundred total extra HP spread right across the three. Rows. So that like that's completely insane, right? So. Damage-wise, I think Aphelios, obviously Aphelios 2 does more than Aphelios 1 with 4 Brawler. But uh, HP-wise, it's like, it's like the Brawlers are stronger. So I, I think you made the right play if you play the Brawlers. And I like the Aphelios position, uh, the Silas positioning, positioning here. Okay. Uh, but the Tom and Nunu? Uh, well, uh, Nunu's bad, right? Because Nunu is not a tank. Nunu's a carry as well. So the only yeah. tank is, is Tom Kench. And he's chosen. So he can definitely tank. You can backline them or like put them in the second row. Because what you want to happen, if you like, that's the thing, like, that's going to be homework. I give this homework to everyone. Actually read every ability and understand how it works, how you can maximize its use, and how you can uh, minimize the damage taken from it when you're playing against someone. So that's kind of like what you should, if you really want to get to Master Grandmaster and beyond, yeah. like knowing exactly how every ability functions and how you can play around that. Like to make yeah to to make to make sure that you use the ability the best and that your opponents like you don't give your opponents uh, free extra damage by positioning poorly. Because Nunu, Nunu eats like if they're if he has higher current is it it's current health yep. not max health it's current health. Right. So you so you wanted him to not draw aggro exactly so that his current health is higher. Yeah. Like the only tank here is is uh, you can you can play the game the only t the, play the play the like the only tank is Tom Kench. And he's a great tank, so he should be by himself up front. Yeah, okay. Because what do you want to die? I'm, gl ha I'm glad that you're scouting. A lot of people don't scout, so that's good. But I don't know if you're using the information at all. Pre-leveling here is also fine. Yeah. Yeah, I, I usually pre-level here unless I'm at 10 gold. I don't know if that's like a good default play. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, I mean, here it's just, it just frustrating how, how tanky you are, right, for the other guy. Yeah. Um, I think you barely lose yeah, this because he has a Janna. Really yeah, he has a Janna. Yeah. yeah, it is what it is. So, here I think you needed more damage. No, no, I, I meant last round. Last round, uh, the Lissandra would have been better over over the Nunu for more damage. Because Tom Kench, Tom Kench tanks enough, I think. So you're lacking damage. And it's just something like, watching that, I wasn't 100% sure either. But now it's just like something, okay. So, because what did the other guy have? The other guy had one tank and two damage dealers and one sustain. While you had one damage dealer and three tanks. So there was no sustain and there was not enough damage. That's why you lost last round. So it's like understanding why you lost and how to make sure it doesn't happen next time. Like, so you, you, can, yeah. you, you can take something away from that. Yeah. Okay. And then here, I think I was debating between a giant spell for a Sunfire Cave or an Aphelios just to have two star Aphelios and then also to upgrade. Because we had two star Aphelios, and then the Silas and Aphelios are both two star, and then I only need one more Silas to make Aphelios three star. Okay, so it's um, it's definitely Sunfire Cape. The other okay, options I are I <laughs> the other options are Bramble Vest or uh, Locket of the Solari. Uh, okay, why so do you? Wouldn't, the, 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 the Aphelios upgraded. All. Why can you not take that Aphelios? Like, what can you make with a cloak? What is the only item you can make with a cloak? Chalice or Runance? QSS. The only item you can make with a cloak is a QSS. On Aphelios, right? Runance, I don't, I don't yeah. know. I don't think Runance is that great on Aphelios, to be honest. Yeah. 
So the only item you can make is QSS, and you already have QSS. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't, let's see. What do I have doing? When do we take items? When do we take units? Like, the only time you take units... Oh, thank oh, God. Well, I really don't thank God. <laughs> uh, the time we take units is when they're legendary units. Nice. Very nice. Sunfire Cape is by far the strongest. So on the fourth carousel, you pick up legendaries over items. But most of the time you want you want items unless you can like three star a unit or two star unit like but like uh, uh, like it's very likely that you'll be able to get a Philios, right? It's not like two star in the Philios is a big deal. Three star Philios sure, but two star nice. Perfect. This is very strong. You should start wind streaking here. Okay, uh, right now the positioning is complete trash, you know that, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so, okay, so top hand should be alone in the front line. And then I, Silas, I know you said a back line before, but I need him in, like, the second row at least. For, so the Sunfire yeah, is sure. on the, at the beginning, right? Yeah. So it should be, like, what, Tom Kench alone in front, Silas and Nunu both to the second row. Sure. Play that? Uh, Nunu in the back, Nunu in the back, just to protect against assassins. And now, I hope you realize it would have been better if you had the Sunfire on the Tom Kench, right? The Tom, yeah. Because you could have you could have slammed the armor on the Tom, and then once you found the Chosen Tom, you would just slam the armor on the Chosen Tom, and you'd have uh, Sunfire on the Tom Kench, who you're selling anyway. So that's just right. like, you didn't need to slam the armor on the Silas. It made no difference on 2-1. Yeah. Ma okay, it made a little bit of difference, but I think... What it did for you positively is, is outweighed by how shitty it is on Silas right now. So, although he'll be two stars, so maybe, maybe, but it's like this is weird that you have the Silas, so he'll always be two star. Yeah, yeah. I think it's always Silas to be honest. It, it's bugged. It, it is bugged. Yeah, it's Diana. Diana's first, and I think I think it goes Diana, Silas, Lissandra, Felios. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. Yeah, Silas every time in this one. But yeah, you're gonna completely shit on everyone. Uh, you should buy the the two cost, I believe. Yeah, I don't know why I bought the jinx. You should be buying two cost to to increase the odds of finding more affiliates and Silas's. Um, yeah, here it's tough, but I, I think that. Oh wait, it's it's always one star silent, uh, one star Philos. Okay, so so it's not it's not kindred. If it was two star Philos, then it's kindred. But it's, since it's one star Philos, it's it's uh, Nunu. Yeah, we should be scouting. Uh, we should be scouting against the guys who we haven't played yet. Yeah, you just mirror it. You that. just you just yeah. mirror it to make sure that your your damage starts shooting right away, and so that like Diana jumps or whatever is jumping in the back jumps on Nunu. Yeah. Okay. Like if they have it in the corner, then you just put it in the other corner. Right. Like a lot of this is like for me, it's super intuitive because it's like you ask your, you just ask yourself, what do you want to happen? Right? Like, what do you want to happen if you play this guy? You can pause it now. Yeah. Or this guy. Yeah. So what do you want to happen if you play this guy? Mm -hmm. So I want... Well, okay. So I want his front line here to focus on Tom and then Silas to come up from... I guess I'm picturing, like, I want Silas to come up... From the right. From the right. And he will slam all three. Or, or two, yeah. maybe even three. He'll slam all three. If, they, if they're positioned like this, he would slam all three if he walks up from the right. Yeah. And then I, I want Diana. So, I want Diana to jump on Nunu. So, I, I'm thinking, though, I still keep Aphelios on the left because the 
Sandra's going to be facing to the right in Miss Ophelios. So I, I, like I said, uh, I who does Lysandra like, shoot at, by the way? Mom, I'm imagining. Yep. All right. Oh, actually, I don't know. Am I wrong about her? That's right. I, I, I forget how her ability works. Highest she attack. That highest attack damage. Which is Tom okay. Kench. So Say that again? Which is Tom Kench. No, Tom Kench has way higher attack damage than, than Silas. You should know this. Exactly, that's why you'll have the homework to learn these things. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Tom Kench uh, is way higher, way, has like the highest attack damage in the game, I think. Okay. So, yeah, so she's going to target uh, Tom Kench. So I get like, I, I would have Aphelios in the left, far left corner, and you do right next to him. And then, Silas, second row to the right. Yeah, and Lissandra would be somewhere. Like, you want to make sure that Lissand like when Lissandra shoots, she doesn't hit more than two units. That's another thing, right? Mm -hmm. So like the shard, it, it splits, I think, two units behind whatever it hits. Mm -hmm. So knowing that she's going to shoot for Tom Kench, you kind of want to make sure that there's nothing behind Tom Kench. Or like that... Uh, that so yeah. Sorry, so I was going to say... Well, this guy, this guy, you played the first round, so you couldn't play him on two set on two six, for example. You know that, so you don't have to right. worry. You don't have to worry about him on on two six. Yeah, but so for like three one. Okay. Let's just say I don't know. I don't know who I played, but let's just say that this guy. Let's just say there's two people. Yeah. You know, these two, the two people at a hundred, I could play either one. I guess in this case, I probably could position for this guy the exact same way as the other. Guy. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Okay, but it's not. It doesn't always work out like that. So then, right? then you figure out who's you figure out who's stronger, for example. Yeah. Okay. And you position for them, or alternatively, alternatively, if you know that one guy will beat you ninety nine percent of the time, you position just for the other guy. Yeah. Okay. Like you, you position for what will make for what can make a difference. Yeah, makes sense. Because this guy might beat you anyway. Right. So, yeah. but you should probably position for him because the, the first guy is not as strong. Okay. Oh, nice. Another kindred. I know. Holding three pairs, though, it's just like, <laughs> it just aggravates me. Like, how long is it going to take to hit him? Uh, so here you should, you should buy out the shop. There's ne like you should always be at uh, a number ending in zero. Yeah. Yep. Or at least oh nice nice very nice oh shit okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's see what you do here. I don't remember if I play the kindred. I feel like I should play the kindred. Yeah, but. Um. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. And you sold the... Yeah, you sold the team. Okay, okay. The team on the jacks. That'd be funny. Uh, so, okay. So the play would have been take out, take out Nunu and buy Yumi. Oh, sell Nunu for Yumi? Yeah. You think the two spirits more valuable than the four brawler? I do. Okay. Because you're going to sell, you're gonna sell uh, Tom Kench very soon as well. Right? right, or alternatively, alternatively, you could have just held like two Timos and a Yumi and the Nunu. You could have just held all of that. Okay, and just miss like, cause like, if you hit anything, you get so much stronger. If you hit like two star Timo, you get so much stronger. Like, it's it's very close, but it's like when I'm super greedy, if I don't hit, I look like an idiot. But if I'm holding a lot of stuff, it's much more likely that you'll hit something. So yes, you give up a little bit of econ, but the fact that you, wait, who won? Oh shit, the, the twisted fake guy won. Twisted guy, okay, he is stronger, cool. Yeah, we level up. We put that in. Holy crap! So this is super duper strong. So again, positioning as we discussed. Yeah. So again, just. 
Nunu back line, Silas second line? Yeah, sure. Um, and you have re relatively good positioning. You want uh, your hunters together so they actually pick off stuff. That's good. Right. Because now you could have had you could have had Mystic as well. Why is Yumi Why is Yumi super powerful in this comp? Look at that! Look at the Silas! Look at the Silas! You can keep playing it, but look at the Silas! Yeah, isn't this what you want every time? Yeah. Why is Yumi super powerful in this comp? Uh, I mean, apart from Spirit. Uh, really well. Apart from so Spirit. Correct. Yeah. If so you have. Besides the yeah. Yumi, would, what would, would you have sold? Like, how would you have played Yumi and Janna? Or would you have played Yumi and Janna? Um, I would play Yumi instead of, instead of the Nunu. Okay. And then just hold the Janna. Hold the Janna. Yeah. Okay. Because this to me looks like a. Go fast, eight fast, nine kind of game. But let's let's see what you, what you do with it. But like, I would not even oh. bother going for moonlights here. Yeah, so I was looking here to see, and I see that moonlights uncontested, and so like, I thought about picking up the Aphelios, but I don't. Um. Okay, that's that's wrong. You you should have done that. You should have picked up the Aphelios over the Timo and the Wukong. Yeah, if you if you like, five is typical typically critical mass. If you have five of a unit, you should really consider rerolling for it. If you have six, you should just do it. Because mathematically, like, the odds of hitting three, it's just so much easier than hitting five or six. So, if you already have six, it's it's very likely you can hit. But yeah, it's the right place since you don't have you don't have uh, chosen. Uh, I guess yeah, the tier would have been the best. What is the second best here? Or what 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 do you what do you want? Uh I think I mean chain best lets me make Bramble. Yeah. Uh Chow Crit lets me make Hodge. Which might be no he takes that. Like That's good. So hopefully we get the Bramble. There's nothing nothing else we can make right now, yeah. Would you do you think Bramble's better than Hodge also? Yep. Oh, 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 I just noticed we're fucking up. Okay, so, uh, why is this not your strongest board? What would be a stronger, stronger board? What would be a stronger board based on my shop right here? No, 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 I meant in general that you should have been playing for a while now, looking at it. I'm not sure. Uh, you could have transferred the Sunfire Cape to your Tom Kench. Yeah. Like it, it's just really hard not to go for that. Three okay. Five. Okay. Fair point. But I, I think, I think uh, splitting the items is just like, you don't want Bramble on Tom Kench and Sunfire on Silas. That's something you don't want. Okay. So maybe at this point, give up on the Silas. Or it's like one or the other, or or like sell the Tom Kench at some point. But like, do you know how items work? Like. Yeah, they're like. Together. Yeah, right? Like, one item on every unit is, is shit if you, ha like, compared to, like, two or three items on, on uh, one unit. Okay. So, right now, like, the fact that you have Bramble and you have Sunfire on a different unit, it's kind of... And what's really, uh, like, tilting is that Silas is still in the front. So, you have this amazing tank, which is Tom Kench, yet you have Silas right in the front. Like right now, Tom Kench is almost unkillable with these items. So this time you don't get as lucky, right? Because you didn't position the Silas properly to walk around. But yeah, okay, you are yeah. super strong. Busted, so it matter. <laughs> yeah. You have Kindred too, yeah. You have Kindred too.
So I just I value I value frontline more because you have enough damage regardless whether you have a hard or not. With the Sandra two, Kindred two, Aphelios two, like so the Bramble of us is the right play. Uh -huh. Three, four, five, six, okay. Wait, three, four. I'm just thinking if you can make 50 here. Yeah, I think I end, if I sell everything but Silas, I hit it. I think that's what I do. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. So, oh, I think I actually lose this one. Yeah, I lose this fight. Okay. Which aggravates me. Well, look at your back line. What the fuck is this? How can you let the shade just jump in and obliterate everything? All right, but like positioning wise, okay, go back, go back then, uh, to the start of the fight, start of the fight, and you can pause once your stuff appears. Yeah, pause. So, what do you want to have in this fight? So I want said to get stuck on something. Um, so probably Silas. So if I have Silas. Next no, here it's or... Tom Kench in the back, by the way, against this guy. Okay, because, so, now, okay, so I understand why you would want Tom Kench in the back against this guy. If I had scouted better, I'm going to find three people that I play against, and I'm pretty sure this is the only guy that I would want Tom Kench in the back. Yeah. So, and I think that, like, I don't think I ever would have positioned for him because I think the guy at 100 health, I'm still, like, I still haven't played. Yeah. So that's like the, that's like the optimal positioning would be Tom Pitch in the back. Uh, right. Alternative positioning would definitely be protecting your back line from the Shades and Assassins. Mm -hmm. So something like... Like everything in the back and Tom Pitch in the front. Yeah. And Kindred. And Kindred. And like, you, you, like, why do you have them in the back? You can have them all the way to the right, uh, all the way to the left. If you have everything to the left, mm -hmm. and then you have like a Salas in the back and a Nunu in the back, like they'll get trapped on the Salas and the Nunu. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, Lissandra... Yeah. Because like your tanks are just in the front, and Lissandra... It's kind of a decent damage dealer, and she just gets sniped right away. Right. So it's yeah. it's kind of a sad fight, yeah. So you can, we can watch it again. I mean, yeah. Having that win streak at this point is huge. So yeah, that's frustrating. Um, okay. Anyway, we know at least. Okay. Yeah. Look at this positioning. That's a lot better. Yeah. If you had positioning like that against him. Now imagine you had this positioning against everyone. Is this bad against everyone? Wouldn't this positioning be fine against almost everyone? Yeah, I mean, I'd still want Tom Kench up front, though, probably, right? But Like, Tom Kench, swap Tom Kench with, with uh, Silas, and that's positioning for everyone. Is it not? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess so. Would that, would you use this as more default positioning? Well, you you tell me, wouldn't like wouldn't that be better against all the players, considering that there's a ninja player? It's just like so like even, yeah okay like you have to like it's game by game. So you look at it, and you're like, okay, well, this game, what happens if I just put everything in the back? Is it better or worse? And you you need to ask yourself that question every game. Like, what like is it better? Is it worse? What can happen? Like right now, you know you're not playing that guy for for at least another another three rounds or four rounds. Right. So three three rounds, someone's dead. So another three rounds, you shouldn't be playing him. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about you him right know, now. Do you know, by the way, because I've never been clear on this, when somebody dies, like this guy just died, does that reset? Like, is it possible that I could play that same guy? I just it is. It does reset. reset. It does reset. So it totally resets. So I know nothing. You can also play a clone, which is really frustrating as well. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's true when you get down to like, you know, five people and people are dying off. Yeah. You're just total, total guesswork on who you're playing. 
Why? Yep, exactly. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, yeah. What do you do with these items here? Oof. Because like, I'm not making another sapphire. I like I like Zeke's. Oh, you know what I end up doing here? This, I think, is a mistake. I buy the Katarina and the Vi, and I make a gun blade on Katarina. And I don't, that probably is not the right call. Uh, Gunblade would go on, on Kindred, if anyone. But you can, you can just make, uh, it's not the best, oh, but you already, yeah, you, you don't want to make, uh, huh, 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 huh. I mean, like, looking it, at it now, I feel like it seeks to lock it. The fact, the thing about the locket, it's kind of late for locket right now. And you have brawlers, so it's like, locket has no value, right? Sure. But, for later, like, if you slam Zeke's and locket on Kindred, I don't think it's terrible. Because that actually helps against the mages and against the assassins and shades and all that shit. Right. Yeah, no, I, I have this weird thought that maybe I'll transition to Warlords just because I like that comp, but I don't, I just, well, it's not the right play here. Well, you definitely want to make some items right now. You should be making the item. Yeah. Okay, so... You did lose, so it's not the end of the world, but like if you had the the locket and Zeke's in the back, like you'd do you'd be doing so much more damage. Yeah, and they would help help survive. I might survive another round. I think you'd survive help. maybe yeah, more Vigar ults as well. Well, it looks like maybe not based on somebody else's health there, but uh. I think you could win this. I think you could have won this with better positioning and with, with the Zeke's and the Locket. Because the Zeke's does a lot more damage as well. Right. Yeah, I mean, this is what I was saying, though. Like, the, when I don't, like, right now, I don't know what combo I'm having, right? I have no idea what I'm doing at the end of this game. Why does it matter? This is, I, I don't know, but this is where I struggle really hard with this game. Because I get really reluctant to commit items. That it's like, well, but if I want more lords, I really wish that I had that gun blade, but uh, which I won't have if I make this. And like, it, it's why I'm so much better when at this stage I know what I'm doing. When I don't know what I'm doing here is when everything falls apart. That's oh, you could also go for a ribbon here. You have decent ribbon items as well. Yeah. So like uh -huh. it's uh, yeah, uh, what is it called? Option paralysis or something like that. Like you have too many options. Uh huh. And here I pick up the two cheap warlords. So now warlords is actually possible. But other people are, like you're not worlds are not a like worlds are a win early comp, but never a pivot into late comp, right? Yes, this is. I mean, I don't, I don't end up sticking with warlords, but I do this weird semi pivot. It's not smart. Now, wouldn't someone benefit from these items much more? And like, yeah, you have another sunfire cape, so. It's a different Z player. It is a different Z player. Yeah. Yeah, if Cat ults there, I win, but she doesn't. Yeah, she's not going to. Without Warlord, like, that cat is completely yeah. useless. Yeah. So the game's baiting me. <laughs> and now we're reloading, reloading on 7. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so you should have done this on 4-2, not 4-3, right? As soon as you hit 7, you should have started rerolling. So now you just got a lot weaker. You just got a lot weaker. Are you content with chilling here? So you think this is weaker? This is the three star Silas now. It's got the okay. warlord in now. But the warlords do absolutely nothing. Yeah, they're all one star. I mean the brawler Tom Kench was better than No Chosen, right? Like, how are you okay with this? How the fuck are you okay with this? You don't have a Chosen. You cannot be okay with this. You should be freaking the so, fuck out. So, would you have just kept the top catch, or would you have sold and rolled the 50 gold? I would have kept it and tried to do it on, on 8. Okay. Later. But if you sell him, then you gotta roll for a Chosen. Like, you cannot not have a Chosen. That is not an option on stage four. Okay. 
So you roll a bit and hopefully you hit some sort of chosen. That's that's the play. Yeah. So that's a ribbon here. Oh, you want the tear for kindred if you can. Alternatively. Yeah. Yeah, you got the ribbon? Okay. But I mean, the, your items, the fact that you made the, the hex deck just completely fucked your items as well. Yeah, I mean, I, still, I feel like Bramble, Sunfire, QSS is still good ribbon items. So but I'm you have a out. second Bramble now. Okay, you missed uh, the Brawler. Okay. Shade. Okay, just pause. You didn't have to pause. It's fine, but it's just like, oh god, like... Why... So no, but like, why the fuck are you doing it on four five, not on four two? I don't know. <laughs> like, as soon as you hit, like, as soon as you hit seven or six, earliest is six. As soon as you hit another, like, the next level, mm -hmm. and you sell your chosen, you roll until you find a chosen. It's yeah. never this, like, oh, I'm just gonna chill, roll a little bit, maybe hit something, maybe not. It's like, I need to hit something right now. If I don't hit anything, like, you cannot just chill right now. And it seems like, oh, I'm just going to roll a bit on 4-3, a bit more on 4-5. Like, right now, right now you're struggling. Your board is kind of kind of meh. So right now, you're playing to get back to top 4. You're playing to guarantee top 4 again. Yeah. So you... you Until level eight. Yeah, uh, which you go eight here, I'm imagining. Uh, based on my HP, probably not. I can go on on the uh, PVE on, on, on. round. Depends. Yeah, it depends. But HP was fine. Right. Okay. And then I would have enough gold to actually roll and find stuff. Right. Okay. This is GG. This is yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is. <laughs> so. <laughs> Is this in any... Oh, my God. Okay. I, I think we know why you lost the game. So, how the fuck is this stronger than what you had before? Please. It's not, but I'm hoping it's just direction, I guess. But why the hell is it in the, on the board? Why is it not on the bench? Yeah, I don't know. And oh god, why do we never fucking roll during the right during the round? This is exactly why we don't roll during the round, because then you'd have to lock a shop. So Not you just yeah. completely wasted two gold. And you should just you should just go to eight right now. Uh, even on like Or like go to eight on five one. Right. Yeah, I think I, I think Okay. I so, like, the biggest mistake, the biggest mistake is, okay, now it's looking a bit better, but, like, there was no point selling the Moonlight, right? That's what the bench is for. Your bench, your bench is for this shit. Like, this shit that you're playing right now, that's what your bench is for. Right. While you can play the, the two, you had a three-star Silas, two-star Aphelios, two-star Lissandra, two-star Kindred. You have to play that. Yeah. And you can keep this shit on your bench and play it once you two-star stuff. Like, yes, now that that, that uh, Riven is two-star, you play her. Right. And she... Yeah, that was, not, that was not good. Yeah, so you, you can't pivot like that. Nice, nice. Good, we're going to go to eight. So stage four was terrible. And you have items lying around. Why the hell do you have items lying around? Well, I just wasn't sure to put them on. Well, are you going to be, like, Garen. Put them on Garen, for example. Like, Garen's not going to stick around. So he can have them. Uh, maybe maybe Jarvan. I don't know if you're going to play Jarvan later. You probably don't want Jarvan. You have uh, two Brambles, which I'm not a fan of. I did. I do understand that you picked up the ribbon because she's a ribbon. So now we're just gonna level up. We have to ignore that. Yeah, Shen. Good, good. 
the boss nice okay why not spirit no we're kind of running out of time we're kind of running out of time so you should be picking up a chosen right now okay um yeah so just put it on anyone Sure. Three star Vega RX me. Um, I don't think this comp has good enough synergies. Like the warlord is completely irrelevant here. Like who is the warlord for? Yeah, I don't know. Since you like your warlords are naked, therefore it's not a synergy. Therefore it's like completely useless. Mm -hmm. Right? You uh, want? I mean Like no, like, now you have roll. time. Now you have time to roll. Now you put in set. You put in. You put in Yone. You can put in Ezreal. Yeah, put in Yone. Nice. That's that's very good. Ludens can work on him, or Morello. Potentially redemption on someone. Okay, and then Tear goes on Cassio. That's good. Cassio should be in the front, by the way. Do you know how Cassio ulti works? Not with a tier. Not a two star, not with a tier. Yeah. Like, maybe you can put, like, one unit next to her. But if Cassio ultis at the start of the fight, it's so, so, so good. Especially in the front line. She'll, like, stun almost everything. But this comp is looking decent. So, another thing, I don't know if, it, if I would do it every time, but, like, con really consider picking up the Ezreal here. The Nidalee is completely pointless. I don't know why why she's there instead of Set. Uh, yeah, no, I just I noticed that too late. Um, yeah. There we go. So I had one round. I pulled up during one round. She shouldn't have been there. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have a chosen. Like, there were some okay-ish chosens. You're yeah, you're way you too picky. This Yumi is, is useless, but there were, I think there were, like, decent-ish Chosens there. Yeah. Um, I mean, positioning with this, so you want Cassio, would Cassio go where Set is? I mean, I, yeah, I don't, that's, when these comps that aren't, like, comps that I'm familiar with, I don't know how to position. Well, think about it. Um, what do you want to achieve? That's fine. But That's exactly what you want. I do, I do want Seth to take all the aggro. Well, saying? if he doesn't ulti, he goes to do push-ups, and then he does true damage, and he has full mana, or almost full mana. Isn't that perfect? Yeah, I guess. I didn't think about it like that. So, maybe drop... Do I still want Cassio in the front also, then? Like, Cassio and Seth? Okay, you want... Ca okay. Okay. You want Cassio and Yone to get as me to hit as many units as possible. Right. So Cassio's never hitting a lot of units. Yone, if they're on the on the left, then yes. If they're on the right, then no. Mm -hmm. So I should be scouting. You should be. Whether they're more likely to be left or right. Let's exactly. Say they're more likely, let's say they're more likely to be on the left. And then, I want Yone where. Yeah. I want Cassio or Thresh. Exactly. Shen is fine, just have him somewhere. Okay, so basically just swap Cassio and Thresh. Yeah. If they're on the left. Exactly. Okay. And I like this is fine formation for the keeper buff. But I mean you're not okay now like you almost maximize the Cassio, but look at that like Cassio ulti into set ulti, that was so beautiful. That almost cleared all his all of his stuff. Yeah. Also, I'm just thinking about it now. Should 
Should I have made the like is the Morales and the Sunfire overkill? Should I have made the Ludus instead of the Morales? Uh, I think Morales is fine. Morales is fine. It gives him extra HP, extra damage. The thing about the Ludens is it's kind of crazy because um, wait, you had a fucking tier. You could have made you could have made blue buff, which is way way stronger, if you hadn't committed a tier to Cassio, right? No, I don't have an extra tier. Oh shit, Ludens, my bad, my bad. Nice, that's perfect. Yeah. So here, this is completely perfect. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think the Moro is fine. So then, like, but then that means you kind of want to position Riven and Yone away from each other so that they both spread the burn. Right? So Yone ultis and spreads Morello. Riven just runs around spreading, spreading Sunfire. Yeah. Which they are at the moment. Got another Dusk. This is tricky, but you you should take it. Yeah, good. Yeah. Which then I hate three mystic. It's just annoying. But. Uh, what do you think about Lilia over over Wayne? Yeah, I do that in a couple of rounds. I don't. I just I didn't think about it right here. Okay. Should've. And what was this roll for? Uh, I don't know. I think I pick up Yumi. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So then you can go for four mystic. So four Riven, four four Dusk is good for Riven, and four Mystic is good for everyone. It's it's kind of a, it's kind of close here. But do you see like, that it would have been better if Set actually got hit sooner, so he goes to work out sooner. Like he actually wants Set yeah. to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you're not going to like this, but uh, you possibly could put in uh, Yumi over Yone and put the items on on set. So you get four yeah, Mystic. You get four Mystic and you can put in put on Bramble and Hextech on him, which is completely insane. And Morello can go on Casio, for example. Yeah, you're right. That's what I should have done. Because he's a freaking two-star. Like He's going to smack super hard. Oh! That, oh my god, yes, Jarvan, my bad. Yes, this is way better, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see the Jarvan there. He was completely redundant. Yeah, Jarvan completely redundant. So this is fine. Yeah, yeah, this is looking more like it. Uh, I, I, I would actually put... Okay, that's no, not more like it anymore. Damn it. <laughs> careful, careful. Okay, good. I mean, you have four Mystic, four Dusk, and two Adept, right. which is crazy. That's like super strong. Okay, so you do think leaving the young is the right call? Yeah, yeah, of course. The um, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'd still want to switch to items, though. I still would, I'd still prefer having... So, like, right here, should I switch Yon and Irelia? I keep two Adept, and then the items can go on set. Uh, no, I would keep the Charmin. I would keep the Charmin. For keeper, because okay. imagine if if Set has Hextech and Bramble, mm -hmm. like, and he has a he already has a jeweled gauntlet, mm -hmm. so he's just, like he's gonna get hurt. He's gonna go work out, come back full HP, and then start smacking people. And whenever he gets like re reduced, and whenever he takes damage, he's gonna ulti again, and essentially heal up to full. So he like Set two can really carry you. This Yone one, Yone one is not gonna carry you right now. So yeah, we, we can watch the fight. Yeah. Yeah, I think this guy just crushes me. He's got too many. He's four three stars. So Seth bugged out. Um, now, if you go back, if you had him in, by, in the front by himself, he would have taken more damage sooner. So that means he would have gone to work out before. Before, yeah, we can go back. We can go back. And just, if you want to, yeah. So imagine if he was in the front by himself. Mm -hmm. So he would actually... He'd be, so he'd be up front by himself. 
let's just say I kept the yacht. I didn't move the items. So he, so just what I have for positioning. So I've set a friend alone, and then it's just like everything else is also a frontliner. So how do I position? Uh, Cassio is right behind him. Cassio is right behind Ted. Okay. And everything okay. else you can just have in the everything else you can just have in the back. Okay. You just want okay, like you just want everyone to to start attacking Set. And by the way, here you want Yone on the on the right, like Yone where where um, Shen is, so that he ults like all of them from the from the right side. Yeah, and Yasuo doesn't murder. And Yasuo it doesn't go for him. So Yasuo would like everyone would actually aggro on the set, because right now it's like perfect. Like he just about to ulti and he just gets hit, right? Yeah. So if he had taken more damage sooner, he would go work out while still having full mana. And now he would run back, yeah. grab the Yasuo, and... Oh, is that what happened there? He lost his mana? I wonder why he never ulted that. Because he was, he, got, he was about to ulti. He was about to ulti. Yeah, okay. but then he got the 40%. That's a, that's a dumb interaction. But okay. It is a dumb interaction, but you know that this interaction is in the game, and you need to take advantage yeah. of it. Like, or, like, mitigate its disadvantage. So, like, if he had taken enough damage to go work out, nice... If he had taken enough damage to go work out, then he would go work out, have full mana, come back, grab the Yasuo, kill everything except Yasuo and uh, Kalista because they have uh, GA. So you would preserve, I don't know, like 10 HP, which would mean you're on two lives, not on one. So you should definitely sell the Yone here. You don't need the cane. Okay, there's the Yone, yeah. You're not playing Irelia. Yeah, I don't know why I took that. You're buying Lilia though, so you should sell the Irelia for Lilia. You could have bought the Janna just in case. Yeah, there you go. And we did no positioning. And why are we not using hotkeys? That's that's very non-master of you to not be using hotkeys. Yeah, I don't know. I used the hotkey to sell. I don't know why I haven't ever picked up the reroll hotkeys or the place them in the uh, board hotkey. The place them in the board hotkey is kind of irrelevant, but the reroll hotkeys are really important. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Getting that habit. So look at this poor set. Look at this, but like, yeah. So it's just like set should set does so much more than the Yone one star. And you even have another Yone, like you can just sell the Yone, put in another Yone, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was tough. Like look yeah, at that Jin. Oh, he, he has a Jin with IE shooting your set. Now if he had Bramble yeah. Vest, he can ignore most of the damage. Right. If he yeah, had well, if he had Hextech, he could heal a lot. Like, I do like the Yone ulti, but Yone just can't clean up. Like, look, he, he can't even kill the, the Jin. Right. Because he's one star. So it's kind of poor H positioning, but definitely poor itemization. Like here, it, it's always put your, put your items on your best units. And at the time, like at the time, you did not know that Yone would stay at one star. I understand that. That's completely fine. Right? right. You did not know that. Oh, but but once I hit the set two, I should have moved them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, okay, so some positioning things throughout the game that are, that are great to think about. Stage four. I mean, this is, yeah, this is the main thing I feel like I need to do better at if I'm not, again, if I, if I already know what I'm doing there, if I've already got a good Warlord set up or a reroll comp set up, things go a hundred times more smoothly. But when I, a game like this, I just mess that up really badly. So, and the, the tape, the, 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 so what I should have done there is just play the strongest thing I could until eight. Ideally until then, nine, but you weren't going nine with this comp, with the comp you had. I think that was stronger. That was stronger than the pathetic six warlords without any stacks all at one star. Correct. Yeah. Uh, those those guys looked pretty pretty sad. They look pretty sad. Yeah. Yeah. 
You only rolled with them for one turn, but but you didn't need to roll with them at all. Yeah, no, I agree. And then I could insult Tom Kenja 8 and roll the 8. Yep. And then, uh... And then... Like, what I did once I hit the dust comp was okay, except again, positioning and should have moved the items on the set as soon as you start. Yeah, and but I mean in general, like you were just like way too chill. Like you sold your chosen on seven. Mm -hmm. That means you're rolling for a chosen right there and then. And you just like and then like you were rolling and you didn't pick anything up. Like right now, I don't know if you played in set 3 or 3.5. Right now, you pay one gold to rent a chosen. It's called rent a chosen and you can rent a chosen for one gold to just play it. Yeah. So you rent whatever chosen you get. Like when you're at 40 gold, you find some chosen, you rent it, you play it, and then you continue rolling the next the next round. It costs you one gold. But more often than not, it'll, it'll save you like 2 or 4 HP. Right. If, you, if you want to go back over that. Like you missed a bunch of Chosens either on, on 4, 5, 4, 6. Yeah, somewhere around there. Like once you start... No, no. no, you sold them earlier. You sold them earlier. Okay, so I still have them here. So that like the first thing is why the hell are you selling on 4, 3, not on 4, 2? You level to seven yeah. on four two. I think I got scared that I just lost the last two and was like, oh no, I'm not strong enough. Okay, but, but look at your fucking HP. Does it matter? I know. And then I hit this. Yeah, this is all around terrible. Because now I should be a lot stronger with the three star Silas. But with, with the four brawlers, you would have been really strong. But like warlords do nothing without stacks. Like this is so much weaker. Like this, yeah. like right here, you have to freaking roll. You you're rolling for a chosen. Like, mm -hmm. like what is the like if like can you tell me why you saw the Tom Kench? Yeah, to find a better chosen. Exactly. <laughs> and then you're like, oh maybe, well fuck it. Like you, you can't. Like <laughs> it's either like maybe some of the Tom Kench is, isn't the best play, but once you make it, you're like, oh, okay, well now I just need to find a chosen. Because I'm pretty sure you win here with Tom Kench. Pretty yeah. sure you would have won this round. Yeah, I lost so much up in this stage that I need to lose. You can skip ahead until like the after the carousel. And yeah, we can discuss what you... Yeah, so here you pick up the ribbon. I guess it's okay because it's a ribbon. Yeah. So here you missed... Okay, so yeah, go back. You missed the, you missed the Brawler... Brawler Vi. Okay. Play it. So what I yeah, like. So I could have so played that over the Vi to South there, but the new new in for the Din Zhao, now I'm back to four brawlers. Exactly. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. Or, so and actually, play. you could put the hex deck on the Silas or on the on the Kindred. Yeah. Right? But it's like there's a, there's a free, like, this is exactly the kind of chosen you can just pick up until you get to eight. Because you yeah. roll without a chosen until eight. Would just cost you a lot of health, unnecessarily. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Spirit I mean, Yumi. Like Spirit Yumi's fine. Evelyn, oh my God, with Hextech, Evelyn, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I really get lucky here that I too. And I have that. no idea what this is. Like this was so know. terrible. I hope you agree with me there. And you even take out the kindred. Like, you take out, I don't know how many two stars for one stars. Yeah. Why should you not make the bramble here? Because you already have a bramble. Yeah. I guess I didn't think having two brambles was bad, but... I mean, your itemizations were kind of mad to begin with, with a hex tech and all that. And then rolling here is terrible. You could have just sold the Pike, honestly. Like, you're not going to be playing that anyway. Or the Garen, or whatever. Rather than yeah. locking and picking up the... Yeah. So th yeah, this transition was just, just painful to watch. And I'm sure it was painful to play as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, this 
But like now you want to go to eight, right? Now you want to go to eight. Right. So w wouldn't it have been fine to have the, the, the brawler vibe just, just to chill? To get you yeah. to eight smoother? And no, what I meant is, what I meant here is, you could have just made a bramble vest, you could have just put the bramble vest on the ribbon and, and gotten the chain to pop off. Right. You know how to do that, right? Yeah. 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 If you uh, put the, put the brand, the one with the chain on the bench. No, 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 even on the field, because full items go over non-complete items. Okay, yeah, that's true. So even if you had bramble on the bench and a chain on the field, like... Yeah. yeah, that's right. Or like any item. It doesn't matter what any item, like the hex tech, for example. Right. I mean, honestly, like these items are good. These items are good, but... Um, yeah, I think the redemption could have helped you more over the Morello. It's it's tough. It's a tough call. But like you definitely dropped the ball at this stage. Like this stage you dropped the ball. Like, I, Can we go back? Were you, were you at like 90 HP, 90 something? Okay, okay. You didn't position, so you went from 88 to 50. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, you went from 88 to 50. Yeah, in one stage. Which happens to me. I don't think it's always that bad. The, I think the reason I panicked and did that really terribly is frequently I'll just hold. Like, like I'll look at this and be like, you know, this seems strong enough for me to get to 82, and it won't be. No, no, but like... like, like I'm not I'm not upset about going from 88 to 50. That's completely fine. I do that as well. I am upset about going from 88 to 50 while rolling, selling your board and wasting gold. Like if you kept this board until the end of stage 4 and were at 50 HP, you would get to 8. You would get to 8 and have 50 gold and like maybe even get to 9 soon-ish. But like you, yeah. you 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 got into some clusterfuck which did nothing for you and it just cost you gold and probably a bit more hp honestly like with this board you could have preserved more hp than with what you had yeah so like if you kept this until the end of stage four you would have been around 50 ish hp anyway but you would have been a lot richer Well, how much HP do you think you will get to at the stage, end of stage four if you're at 88? I mean, Worst somewhere, case scenario. I mean, somewhere, let's say if, if I had kept this, instead of going down to 50, maybe it's 60 or 65. But like worst case scenario. Oh, apparently 50. <laughs> no, worst case would be, would be like 40. Wait, wait, what, what, what? Um, what I'm saying is, I would not mind dropping down to 40 to guarantee my econ. Like, if you watch some of my games, or like, I'm going to upload the games now that I play today, uh, I sack, like, parts of stage 4 and stage 5 just to push to 9 sooner. Like, I'm greedy like that. I push to, Maybe I push to 9 a bit too much. I need to work on that, that I push to 9 more often than I, sh like, than I should. But... I'd rather lose by getting to 9 with like 30 gold and 20 HP than rolling on 7. So I will, I will try to roll on 8. Like, uh, I roll on 6, 7, 8, or 9 based on my HP. So with this HP, you should trade away some of your HP for gold. Uh, I'd say enough if it, like enough to have three lives on stage five. Let me put it like that. Okay. 
So on stage five, if you're if you're above forty HP, you typically have three lives. So, right. yeah, because <laughs> ideally, if I can, I want to get to nine after stage five carousel. If I can. I'll go nine of as much gold as I can. Like you, you can you can watch my my last game. It's on on the street on the stream on Twitch. It'll be on YouTube as well shortly. Uh, and I have a I, I roll with a Fiora chosen. I roll with a Fiora chosen. I get the nine, and then I transfer the items from Fiora to Yone, and then I have Yone chosen, and then I struggle a bit, and then I realize I need four Mystic, so I put in four Mystic, and I win the game. So, it's as simple as that. Yeah. But like you should, okay. you should be aiming to get to eight consistently without rolling. Ideally, ideally to nine. Like you can roll a little bit if you're chosen as shit. You roll a little bit. If you're uh, if you if you're holding a lot of pairs, you can roll a little bit to to, to upgrade the pairs. So like even in this case, you would have just kept the Tom catch. But when I sold the Tom, if I had just taken the buy, which was like two shops later, okay. That's a bit of an upgrade, right now, an upgrade and not a lot of gold. Okay, look at your board. You have Moonlight, so everything apart from Nunu is two star. That's a pretty freaking powerful board. Especially if you, like right now, if you slam the Zeeks and the Solari, which are items to preserve more HP, your Kindred and your, and your Aphilus are going to do more damage, and you're going to be more inclined to backline your Nunu and Silas so that you get full, full lock in value. Yep. And you just chill, and you'll preserve enough HP to, to almost guarantee you can go to 9... Either after carousel or ideally, uh, like st stage uh, five, seven, or six, one. Mm -hmm. And then, with your items like QSS Bramble, um, QSS Bramble, you you sound a little, yeah, QSS Bramble and the Sunfire Cape. Those are okay on on set two, Yone two, um, whatever. Like if you find some like chosen legendaries. That's what you should be aiming for. Like, Chosen Legendaries are by far the strongest, and I think that makes the game really good because those of us who can get to 9 consistently playing whatever the hell we find along the way, we get rewarded. Okay. Yeah, I've never played for the try to get the 9 play style. I've always felt this too risky, but, it, I mean, you seem to be able to do it, like, almost more often than not. I do it, yeah, I do it most of my games, and it's, it's easy because... Most of the people are just like running around like chickens without heads. Like, oh my god, I need to roll now to find upgrade for this and that. And like, just chill. I can drop down to twenty HP. I don't care. Like, if I drop down to HP and I win the game, then it's fine, right? Because like, right, like from this position, you should be like thinking, I'm going to nine, and if I get shit on too much, I'll stop at eight. But like, you should never feel that you need to roll. Like here, you just slam items to continue win streaking, and you yeah. chill. Maybe you can level up here if you actually had something to put in, which you unfortunately don't. So, yeah. Right. Uh, wait, how much is it to okay. level twelve to level? Yeah, you can you can level up here. Maybe play like a pike, for example. Yeah. But like. Yeah, level Yeah, yeah, it's 12. Yeah, I'm doing the math, yeah. And the gin, you're not playing gin because you don't have any gin items, so you could level up, play pike here, and just keep chilling. Just yeah. keep chilling. You, you you make items like Zeke's and Locket, which are good items just to continue win streaking and preserving HP. And, like, the whole point, like, my mindset of the game is, how can I get to 9? What do I need to, to do to get to 9? And that's kind of the way I approach the game right now. And if I cannot get to nine, or if I'm offered like, I tried Diana reroll that was not worth it. Um, alternatively, I tried uh, Moonman, si uh, Silas, and Aphelios. That that got me an easy first. Um, so if you're offered something crazy, you take it. But otherwise, you're just playing whatever you can to get to nine. Makes sense. By by positioning, by itemizing, it's like getting to nine is not easy. But if you do everything right, and a lot of people in your lobbies don't do everything right. 
It's actually quite easy. Okay. So I'm going to focus on positioning. I'm going to focus on positioning, and just especially on my Smurf, on this account. I'm just, I'm just going to try my damnedest to get the nine. And yeah. Just, and just play, just, just try to position, try to mid-max health every level, and just get the nine. Because that's what I'm doing on my path to masters. Because I'm, I think I'm in diamond three, right? Diamond two, right now. So that's exactly the same elo. And in yeah. those games, it's just like usually very easy to get to nine. Like if I'm in a challenger lobby, it's more difficult because challenger players will punish me. They'll spike hard. They'll make good items. They'll use every single synergy, every single positioning trick they can. Yeah. So that's that's just like, yeah. You out, you should be able to outplay people in, in Diamond and Master. And then Grandmaster Challenger, that's when it gets difficult. That's when it's not going to be like a walk through the park. Yeah. yeah, and I need to get better at this because I was just getting so frustrated on my main account where you look at my match history and it would be like, you know, the streak where I got re-rollable things or good Warlord starts and I had five straight top threes and then okay. it would be three, three straight games where it was like, for whatever reason, I couldn't do that and I was sitting in this position at 4-1 and did something dumb and went seven. Like, it just... But so it was, this game... much better when it's not a... Uh, when it's not a, a, a comp that, you know, is determined what you're doing by this point already. I need to get much better. But this game, like, if you go to the end of the game, it was really good. If you just put the items on set, as soon as you two-start him, it's probably like a top two. Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, I got lucky two-starring Ribbon at level seven. Um, but yes. Then I, I, and then you got lucky two-starring set on level eight. Yeah. And then and that's still went fourth. Because you didn't capitalize on it. Because, like, for some reason no. you had Yone with items instead of set. That's like the key thing. Like as soon as a set gets upgraded here, after the carousel, you're like, okay, well, set is upgraded. Yone isn't, so then we put it on. We we roll with set. Yeah. Alternatively, no, you don't want to. You don't want to ditch the ribbon. Yeah, you don't want to ditch the ribbon because you're on eight. Yeah, yeah, but you went for for the four mystic. Like, I do think because like if if you have four mystic. And Bramble on set. And the Hextech. Like, what kills him? Magic damage doesn't kill him. Physical damage doesn't kill him. And whenever he ultis, he's gonna heal up to full. Yeah. So if you play, like, one of the fights, like, the ones you lose, like, you can see that if he had those items on him, he would just win every fight. So that's, that's like, yeah, just like knowing, okay... Uh, this fight, I'm not... Oh, you don't have 4 Mystic yet, so you're going to get shit on by the 3-star Vygar. I'm not... In, oh, okay. No, never mind. Look at that. So, you're, yeah, you're, you're waiting just better to survive. So, if you had 4 Mystic, you would be fine. And this is the... Yeah, this is the positioning thing. Like, your set should have yeah. been somewhere where he could actually go work out sooner. But, yeah, here with 4 Mystic, you win there. And then you, you finally put in four Mystic here. And then we can just skip ahead a little bit to the fight. And again, like during the fight. Yeah, I like this. Like, yeah, you positioned correctly, then you reposition back. So again, here, if Set, if Set was by himself, he would take enough damage to go work out. Uh, and if he had the Bramble Vest, he would... I mean, Yasuo has uh, Last Whisper, but still, like... Yeah, here it's just positioning. Yeah. What, like, if I don't have set here, let's say, let's pretend that Yon is two star and I don't have set. Like, would you still have a, like, how would you position in that case? Okay. If you have set, you always want him to take as much damage as possible. Mm. Because how does set work? He, uh, when he gets below, what, 40%, he goes off the board and starts doing his push ups. Exactly. And then But what is the, the biggest thing, the most important thing, the, the boss trait? What does it do? It gives him true damage if he does, if he push-ups back to full health. Exactly. 
So how do you guarantee that? They can die really fast. Exactly, right? It, it makes sense. You want them to go work out really fast so that there's other shit happening during the fight so that he has enough time to do enough sit-ups to get back to full health and then do true damage. Yeah, that makes sense. But I guess I just think yeah. like, if I don't have set... If you don't have set at all. If you don't have set... Set at all. Set at all. It, okay, you're saying Yone 2-star? If you had Yone 2-star, you want to position him so that he hits more? Definitely. Uh, so he slices to the front line. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You would just put uh, Cassio. So you you would put Cassio like in between... It should be Cassio in between uh, Riven and Shen. And uh, Thresh behind, behind her. Because you don't have Vanguard, so Thresh is kind of weak. That makes sense. So you, you would want, like, yeah, like, yeah, you just put, put Shen, put Shen where Set is, put Riven where Thresh is, and Thresh one row back. Okay. So that way Cassio will stun everything, they'll split the aggro, uh, Shen can, Shen has a lot of HP, so he can kind of tank a lot, and Riven you don't really want taking aggro as well. So Riven can take a little bit of aggro, but not all of it. So here you would split the aggro. You would split the aggro between between Shen, Riven, and Cassio. Okay. Possibly you could you could like do these little things like if Cassio has a tier, you can make like a room like two tile room next to her. So like Shen would not be right next to her, but like one tile over. Which would mean that okay. she would take aggro for more. It's a, it's like you need to think about what you want to happen or like what is gonna happen. Like this game. Like this round, I, I I didn't know. Like, I did not know that that set would not take enough damage to ulti before going to work out. Right. But the easiest way to do to guarantee that he goes to work out is like having solo front line, so he takes all of the damage. So even if he bugs out, even if he bugs out, he'll at least be at full HP and doing true damage once he comes back. Yeah. But in this fight. He does not come back with... I don't think he comes back with full HP. No, I don't think so. Yeah, because he, he doesn't back. take enough damage right away. Because yeah. everything is getting damaged. Why is everything getting damaged? Right. Everything should not be getting damaged. Okay, he does come... Oh, he comes back with full HP. Okay. Yeah, but too late. <laughs> but too late, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it's these little things that make the difference. It's these tiny little things. And then the last round, the last round is just sad how, how he gets shot down by Jin. Right, and Bramble would have fixed that. Bramble would have fixed that, for sure. So, like, Yone is probably better than Set, but Set 2 star is, like, that's your main carry. Right. That's, that's the fun thing about the legendary comp, is your carry is whatever you 2 star first. If you have, like, decent items for it, you just put it on. Like I can yeah. check, I can check my latest, my last game. I had, uh, yeah, okay. So my game was a little bit more high roll. I had a chosen Yone with uh, Hextech Bramble Hodge. I had two star Lee Sin with blue buff, uh, Sunfire Cape and GA, and I had a two star Kane with with Shroud, uh, Elderwood Spat and. Death cap, and I also had a two star Zillion, two star Azir, two star Lilia. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> and then I had four Mystics, so yeah. But it's like two star legendaries are really good. And the guy I beat had two star Zillion, two star uh, Ezreal, two star Yone, and two star Lee. Okay. So, like, legendaries are really powerful. And items, like, they're not as item dependent. Because, like, you, ha you don't really have good items. Like, you have decent Riven items, and you have decent items for Legendaries. You can't play anything else from this position. So, knowing that means, like, you should try to go to 9. Yeah. Yeah. Which I probably could have done. Probably. Yeah. Like, never panic with, with, with 80 HP. Like, there's no need to panic. I guess it's, like, a lot of, like, mentality of people who are not in, like, Master or Higher... They're like, oh my god, I'm losing HP. Or, oh my god, I'm at 60, everyone else is at 80. Who cares? 
you still have 60 HP. Right? Like, yeah. if you're, even if, even if you're the last person, but you're at 60, everyone else is like 70, 80, 90, like, it doesn't matter. Mostly. Right. Like, if you're, if you're doing things right, like, maximizing your economy, you can level up to 8 and then roll down and then still top 4. But if you start panicking earlier and rolling on 7 and doing stupid shit, then yeah, you might not top 4. So this was a, this was a good game. Good example of, it like, demonstrated your weaknesses quite well. So... Yeah, we're over the hour. It's, it's fine. It. Yeah. So yeah, this was um, this was very helpful. I would love to do it again. I uh, I mean, you know, tomorrow's Christmas, and then I'm traveling, so it'll be a, a few days. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, you you need to practice. You need to play some games as well to like. Right, right. Try things out. Yeah, we'll get get some more recordings. Maybe find one that is less disastrous on stage four, but we could still use some help. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, just okay. We're just gonna end the the YouTube video here. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys learned something as well. And goodbye, Corey. <laughs>